This is the world's cheapest electric car. It is two horsepower, two wheel drive, and we are going to take it a hundred miles off road on Jeep trails. Oh! oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh. See, I'm gonna slide off the ramp. But first, it didn't always look this good, so let's show you the off-road modifications that we made and then go 100 miles on Jeep trails. No one has a lot of belief in us, but I think we really are gonna go 100 you know miles. I don't have a lot of in you? Andrew said, and I quote, it won't make you 100 miles, and then he said, eh. Maybe a hundred miles. And so I was like, okay, okay. So I have to get it ready today. We have no brakes right now. In our small town, you can't get real brake line. What was on there was real brake line with brake fluid. This is the best they could do which they told me would probably work with mineral oil, which you use in like mountain bike brakes. Or as a laxative. Oh, uh, yes. really? So, the only mountain bike store in town went out of business I learned today. So, we have cutting board oil. Oh, nice. <laughs> which the man at Home Depot told me would definitely work. Do you want me to pump the brakes full of vitamin E? Oh. Ten times and then hold it. It's like it's meant for it. Is it not meant for it? Oh, oh. It's like a proper tuner car situation. Oh yeah, dude, like a little hole in the roof that no one's worried about. That's not going anywhere. Uh oh. I've been talking about this fire extinguisher works, I guess. Get it out, Will? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoo. A little uh, headboard on fire. A lot of You guys haven't on even fire. finished preparing. You've already set it on fire. This does not bode well for the that adventure. That is so bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! How I did just we... looked up and I smelled like a little burning as I did dust the paint. And then I looked down there and I was like, no! How do we not think of that? I don't know! I told you I'm so bad at this. Did you always get gas anywhere? I don't know. <laughs> I've had all these bigger chops. <laughs> oh, that's nice, dude. Yeah, that's very nice. We are gonna be doing this 100 mile challenge in freezing cold temperatures. When I got here today, I could see my breath, which is not a good sign. So I'm gonna be replacing the window I deleted with my head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> with a plexiglass window. So yeah, just make sure it's extra, a little extra big, like, like that. You use the rubber, but it's actually a screw. Head, so <laughs> I know. 
you guys are really getting this car crafted together. Yeah, we're, we're planning on going about 100 miles, so. I mean, we have three days worth of mac and cheese, so yeah. we can go for at least four, because I could do a day without eating if it yeah. comes down the to it. The problem is I know you guys, and I know that as soon as it starts going well for the first three miles, <laughs> you're gonna find some obstacle and be like, whoa, we, we can't even walk up this, we gotta drive up it. Time to test the winch. It's either gonna work or rip all the steering off. 100 miles. Is it ready? I doubt it. You can't even walk. <laughs> this is perfect. This is exactly the kind of situation we're going to get to on trail. If this winch works, then we will actually be able to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're completely unstoppable. We can go up waterfalls. I'm a little down worried rivers. about one thing. Though. You cannot go down rivers. <laughs> what are you worried about, Will? The metal part in the front. Oh shoot! Oh, yeah. But this is going to pull in our whole bumper, isn't it? I don't know. Find out. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> if it can do this, we can go places we can even walk. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Here to your bike, Bill. There you go. Do you think that's from this? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it's from a different machine. Let me guess. Somewhere that you can't even walk? Not even, it just died entirely. Places you can't even walk, man! <laughs> I don't know places you can't even walk! <laughs> You're not even on your challenge yet. Like, you I haven't know. even tried. I'm really scared now. <laughs> I just don't understand what happened. Why do you think Steven and I don't want to go on this? dirt and then it just turned off. Also your grill is like falling out again. Yeah, we got damaged. I don't and then it'll only be the third time this car's caught on fire before our trip even starts. Yeah, but this is the, the important part. Where the devil does this wire go? We're going in reverse. Whoa! Oh. Wait, why is it going in reverse? Yes, yeah. we have some dirt on our now tires. Now we're good. This is what we need. Yeah, like a good trail. Make I us. think that driving on flat ground, <laughs> on pavement, for 200 miles in that thing would be a challenge. Oh. Here we got our tent, my sleeping bag, the rest of the entire backpack is mac and cheese, and expired bear spray. We're unstoppable. It'd be so scary if a bear just decided he wanted our mac and cheese. I don't, I think he could rip into this pretty easily. I like that. We might not even get to the Five gallons is probably enough to get to town, right? Yeah. I don't know, what is the fuel efficiency of this thing? somehow jammed in there in a way that it doubles up and starts going backwards. Oh, the ramp's gonna break. Oh, I can seriously all the way break. I know it's gonna break. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I need a shorter stick. Whoa! <laughs> okay, What's going wait, on? you're not gonna be fine. You wouldn't believe how shrek this is. Oh, I think you're good. Straighten out your tire. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Freedom! 
<laughs> baby. Places you can't even walk. Yeah, those ramps aren't exactly rated for a car. I don't know what happened. <laughs> everything was going so well. <laughs> and then everything fell apart. Situation altogether scenario. I'm gonna drive this car home tonight and plug it in at my house. The old red car? Yeah. Why is your wife gonna think about that? <laughs> That's a good point. I'm already in the doghouse, man. It's all good. Okay. You can't get more in the doghouse, can you? You can't have your doghouse sold out from under you and then be put outside. <laughs> Has that happened to you? That is way easier. And I trust the Tesla a lot more than that long vehicle over there. Yeah, we'll see how range is. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're leaving the trailer at our friend's shop and we've only got two miles of pavement until we're in those mountains back there. So let's start the 100 mile challenge. Oh, dude, we're at 82 volts. Got the lights turned off, we're in low power mode. Gonna cruise out to the mountains and hit those gnarly off-road trails. Get it, man. A hundred miles. Oh. We're gonna have to drive on this rock. Oh, oh. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's so jank, man. I thought we could go anywhere we wanted to. Anywhere you can walk. Like, I feel like I'm in a little square Lego car around all these big adult vehicles. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a real life Crossy Road video game right now. <laughs> this is I gotta go. Jank. All right. For it. Oh. oh man. Look at us next to regular uh, cars. I know. Dude. It does feel like we're playing a video game, like we're in some. And we have no mirrors. <laughs> Are we in high gear? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it feels so much slower in like real life. Yeah, like when you're off road on Ethan's property, you feel like you're going a million miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> in real life, it feels way slower. <laughs> wow, the open roads, man. The open We're roads. We're out on the open <laughs> roads. This is amazing. This, we've been dreaming about this I didn't think this so was gonna happen for long. so long. There were so many people who didn't believe in us and now <laughs> looked at us. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, so we're at 75 volts. That's like half the battery, isn't it? Yup. <laughs> so basically we're hoping we can maybe make it to the dirt road that goes to the road we want to be on. 
without just killing our entire battery. But it's kind of looking slim to none. 75 volts, I feel like that's super low for being where we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's fire it up. Let's fire the We got to get up. charging. <laughs> I'm glad we bought lots of gas because I think we're gonna need it. <laughs> I think the generator is gonna be going the whole trip. Absolutely. It has been all uphill, so. Thankfully, this thing's a one pole wonder, though. Gotta turn it on first. Oh, I was like, no! First try. Oh. <laughs> What just broke? I don't know. Oh, the pole thing is broken already? <laughs> this is just great. Nice. Now we got a power bank inside here. I think we're doing fine. Averaging like seven miles to the... Battery? <laughs> it takes like four hours to charge a battery. <laughs> We've gone three miles and used half a battery and these batteries take like five hours to charge. I know, I'm really nervous. We haven't even made it off the pavement, bro. What the? Yeah. It's pretty wild, right? Yeah. This is two horsepower. Two horsepower? Yeah. Yeah, one, two. Yep. Well, it's definitely gonna put it through its test, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple sections in there that aren't fun, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm We're, feeling less confident about this challenge, like yeah. every second of the way. It's supposed to snow tomorrow and we're going to be out. Oh, you guys are doing this in the storm that's coming, yeah. too? Yeah. I hope you don't know where you guys are going to be at. Like, oh, no. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we haven't even got off road yet and there's already snow. Yep. Did you test the winch to make sure it works? Yes but I tightened the leads down so it doesn't do the sparking thing that it was doing. Oh, I didn't even notice that man behind us. <laughs> yeah, we broke off our mirrors on the test drive. <laughs> That's this how is... fast we could be going. All right, we're about to cross the threshold from pavement to dirt. We're on our second battery already. This is the moment, this is why we're all here. This road goes uphill for a while, it's gonna be a battery killer. And immediately when it transitions to going downhill, it gets unbelievably bad. Like, I high center my full-size Dodge Ram going down this road. She's like, oh no, and then she this sees is, us. <laughs> this is oh. a very serious road. We're not gonna see anyone non four wheel drive past this point. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, we're down in Jeep territory. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, this is what this, this is what, made for. This is what I thought the trip would be like, and that long road before was terrible. Well, we're eight miles in, so it's nothing but this kind of road for the remaining nice. 92 miles. This is where the Chang Lee really shines. Yeah, this is where it's born to be. Oh, oh. This is our first obstacle. Oh. This uphill is absolutely killing us. I can run faster than this thing going uphill and it's eating away all of our battery. Oh. Oh. What is oh. that? The trim of the window just no. fell off. Oh. We might not make it home, <laughs> let alone 100 miles. You're going the right way. Okay. Now it's getting jeepy, let's go! Let's go, this is what we wanted.
just like to say when Top Gear does this kind of thing they have support vehicles and camera crews and people with food and water we don't have any support vehicles we just have the water we carried 16 boxes of mac and cheese and a $20 toolkit from Harbor Freight just driving like idiots. Almost 10 miles. stopped again. I think there's some kind of tip over thing. I think it's going. I I know, but it got slower. Wow. <laughs> Here, let's let's try Here, be stable for a second. Let me try turning it off and on again and see okay, if it yeah. ramps up. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, dude, what the devil? Look what that is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this trail, dude. This is so much more intense than I thought. Switch me out for a little while? Sure. Breathe. All right, ready for our stats? Yeah. We are at 8.3 miles. Nice. An hour into our journey. 72 volts. So we've used half of two batteries, which means we've used half of our overall battery. Yeah. And let's call it nine miles. And the generator seems to <laughs> turn basically off turn off any every... time you hit a bump. <laughs> that's not good. No, that's really bad. I know it's going smoothly right now, but once it comes to charging issues, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Oh. Man, when you do these roads on a dirt bike, yeah, which is the only thing I've done these roads on, I was like, oh yeah. A hundred miles? There's not anything. I was thinking we should do a thousand or at least yeah. five hundred. But I, now that I'm seeing <laughs> snail speeds, what it takes to do this, it's intense. And the steering wheel is slowly getting like worse and worse. Yeah, much worse. But we're almost to my favorite little Jeep rocks. Oh! 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 oh. 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 
Can we do this, man? I don't know, man. That looks pretty intense. <laughs> All right, I think bud. we can do it. Let's do it. All right, Edwin and I just got up to this pretty hardcore rock location. I don't know if this can really show the scale, but I'm gonna try to show you guys the scale compared to the car we're driving. That hole is like the same size as that little Lego truck. So we're gonna see how this goes. Our shovel. Oh. We lost our shovel. Oh, I think that was our diff. High centered. Oh, dude. That's not good. That's not good at all. We just busted our diff completely open. I just watched you, you hit that rock and it cut it in half. You think it's still gonna work at all? No, like, I mean, it might, but look. It is just shrecked. That is really not a good sign. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe we broke the diff. worse than you could even believe. It bent the entire axle. We're pigeon toed. Oh dude, I thought I was like driving me off this side and I was like, what the devil? The tires are literally facing each other. Oh dude, look how much gift feels on this. Oh man, that's really bad. <laughs> the entire axle is bent. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Yeah. It's, it's like bent this way. Both of them are bent that way. What holds that in? I Can think just I just. Bend it back? I think I hit the bell oh, housing. Look how smashed in the front of the bell housing is. Yeah, I think I hit the bell housing straight on and bent it in. Oh, man. That is damaged. Yeah, we're going to have to be very careful for the remainder of this <gasps> journey. <laughs> I can't believe we're this shrecked already. We're only nine miles, man. Not even. We have ten times what we just did. <laughs> no. All right, well, let's get to the top of this mountain. That's the only logical we thing to do. We need mac and cheese at the top of this mountain, man. Right? <sighs> the good news is, is it's not making any crankety clanks. So I think since you welded the diff, it yeah, might I just think it's work. Pretty solid. We're just gonna have to take it very easy. Yeah, we gotta be careful on this stuff because with that damage, we might like disconnect the axle all together. Yeah, and we don't have any way of fixing anything like well, that. We gotta watch scrubbing that diff on things. I think the diff is done. Yeah. It's a good thing it works in the same direction as the motor, otherwise we'd be already done yeah. right now. Turning left is just not I'm surprised even... we didn't like did it damage the motor or something. It definitely feels like less power now that our rear tires are facing each other. Yeah. 
Well, there's this really cool rock that I think is up here, or maybe it's on the next turnout. We have to make it 100 miles. Oh, we're going 100 <laughs> miles, man. We just gotta be Which really if we have careful. Our oh, that feels so weird. It's like it does. <laughs> Well, both tires are fighting against we're like each other. Like this. It's, it's like we're crab walking. Yeah, that's really weird. It's gonna be real. Oh, oh. it's gonna feel so oh, weird this going is at so speed. Bad. Oh, 100 miles. I think I they're like maybe moving yeah, back they're and moving. forth. Yeah, yeah, they're totally moving oh back and forth. Oh my gosh, that means we're so disconnected. We're so Very just slow. Wait, disconnected. This might not happen, man. No, I'm, we're making it a hundred miles. I man. shouldn't have done that. Not ramping. Because we went all the way around Ethan's party property at those spots. Not with rocks, so rocks not like that. Change things. Because yeah. now our whole yeah. rear axle's bent. And that's not even the top of where we're going. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to drive like this. That's full throttle. Yeah, you're in low gear though. Yeah, but that's pretty normal. You just start driving sideways now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is where my favorite rocks are. We're so screwed, dude. We are so <laughs> screwed. We're, We're gonna so call Ethan and he's gonna be like, I told you guys I wasn't gonna save you. We're making it a hundred miles, man. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I just, not doing this. Can you believe how bent the rear axle <laughs> is and we're still going forward at all? This is oh, it, dude. This is it. Oh my gosh. Can we even do this with bent axle? I don't know. I think we might need to winch. No, we got this. We got this. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude. I just like the oh. Chang Lee even oh, more than that. before. This is it, dude. Wait oh. till you see where we are in relation to the universe, man. Oh my this gosh, is, this is amazing. This is where I take my dirt bikes We're from my house. We're literally driving sideways at this point. Up a mountain, man. See I these can't... rocks, dude? Oh. These are my favorite places to play on the Saron. We are pop. All right. We gotta oh, pretend yeah. like we have a glass box transmission. Subaru transmission now. <laughs> Hi, uh, oh my gosh, can we actually go up there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I mean, so I could too. walk up there. This yeah, can so go can places easily. you can't even walk. Yeah. Well, we came here to do a hundred miles of deep trails. And honestly, that hill we just made it up is probably too steep for a normal person on a four-wheeler to even try. I feel like a lot of people with their Jeeps wouldn't have even attempted that. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's a lot of people who put it in four low in the Home Depot parking lot, yeah. and we're out here doing things, man. And I think, too, we did it with our rear tires actually sideways. Just walking. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. I hit the bell housing so hard it's not just that there's a hole in our diff that you can see through. It's that the entire rear axle is like, yee, like yeah. that. So now both wheels stick into the wheel arches so and rub. Logically, we're gonna bust out the max tracks and go on top of that rock. This rock all the way over here, and it doesn't look that steep from right here, but if you walk over here, Definitely a max track situation. Like this rock, if we tumble down this rock, it could end the 100 mile challenge for sure. I think the plan is to just put max tracks like from there to here, and then we could probably make it up to the top of that rock. Are you gonna bust out that mac and cheese at the top of this rock? Yeah, dude, I'm, so I'm so hungry. This is so jank, dude. We're actually starting at a complete loss. Yeah. Do you know what that crab walking is gonna do to our range? Low range. Now we're like out of batteries already, and we're oh, only. This is premature. We don't need these. Yes, we do, man. Also, we lost some ground clearance with how bent everything is. Let's see here. We'll come up here. 
I think we can do it. And then we can just went to a rock up here or something. Yeah, if we needed to. Did we forget the toe strap? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 8.8 .8 miles. We've used over 60% of our total battery capacity. Folded out. <laughs> This trip this is, is so actually weird. going exactly how Ethan told us it was gonna go. Which is worse than I could have possibly imagined for myself. Yeah. This was an element situation. Yeah, dude, kids are, I mean, it might not look in dead, but if we rolled off that, I feel like we just rolled down the entire hill, so. Yeah, that's not just a feel like, that's just a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> is everything secure on the roof? Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna try to send it slowly but surely. There's no way. I was not expecting this. Oh, there you go, though. Wait, 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 wait. Back up a little bit before you high center. Right. I think you did already. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, you're already up on the rock. You didn't even need this track. Your front tire's completely just hanging in the air. All right, I think if you just send it from there, you'll go right up. Yeah! Places you can't even walk, man. Oh. 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 Here, I'll push. Oh my gosh, dude, these brakes are not good enough to hold me here. Pretty much, you're just gonna have to send it. But I can't have my foot on the brake and go, you know? Yeah. So how do we lock the rear tire so I can start? I'll put a rock behind you. Okay. Now let off and just give it full throttle. Is that full jam? Are we good? Yeah. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Dude! I can't see anything in front of me. Okay, just back up a hair. Okay. I genuinely cannot believe this is working. Yeah, man! <laughs> if this is the only thing we accomplished today, dude. Oh, so dude. That's incredible. And I feel like the angle might have changed to our advantage, actually. Yeah. It like bumped it back a little bit. <laughs> that was the most jank thing ever to happen. Wow, that's secured. That's insane. <laughs> I can't believe that. Dude, look what we just climbed up. I, I can't even walk up that. I can barely walk up that. Dude, look behind you. Oh. That's the false summit of where we're going. Oh. This is cinematic though. This is premium location. I like it up here. She. This car is incredible. This little car is incredible, and I don't care what people say. This can go anywhere, and it can even go places you can't even walk.
accomplish this 100 mile challenge in four or five days. So we brought 16 bags of mac and cheese, some toilet paper, a couple cans of camp fuel with the jet boil, tent, more fuel, sleeping bags, a couple of bowls, our off-road track things, some paracord, our Harbor Freight toolkit, five gallons of water, and some expired bear spray. We figure we're good to go. It's our first of many macaroni and cheeses. The first package of macaroni has been opened. We realize that the top of this rock, we've done exactly nine miles. Which and it feels like a lifetime. So in four hours, we've done almost 10 miles. So I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, basically there's a lake on the other side of that valley we're trying to get to before we go up that mountain. Will and I were both chatting, we're like, there's nothing we'd rather be doing today. This is just the greatest experience a person can have. Yeah, that's pretty premium. If you have the mindset we have, like there's nothing I'd rather do than no, this. No, just driving a little car out here is like so soothing and amazing and... Eating camping food eating with your friends. I was hoping it'd be just the cheesy kind. I don't like all these vegetables in there. Oh, you have vegetables in yours. <laughs> They're all the same, and it's all we no, brought. that's not the same. Have you looked at that one? <laughs> what? What does it say? It's like long, skinny noodles. <laughs> and like broccoli and things. <laughs> when I bought these at the camping store, <laughs> I read the box. Forever Young Mac and Cheese. Mac and Cheese made with three cheese sauce. And I was like, that sounds like the kind of mac and cheese you crave when you camp. And what I got is pea soup. We are stuck out here in the wilderness for who knows how many days eating only pea soup. And the funny thing is, mine says the exact same thing. And it looks like luscious noodles. Look at that. And tell me that's not jankwish.com hospital food. This is the equivalent of mac and cheese. Is that is equivalent to a real Ford Bronco. <laughs> oh no! My brakes are like giving out. Uh -oh. I'm fully jammed on the brakes. I have not that much longer I can last. Right, okay. Why don't we just go the way we came, man? I don't know. Matt. We just want to die. All right, stop there. <laughs> what does it look like in real life? Ah! To add to this morning's list of failures, I accidentally switched the camera to slow-mo while we assessed the damage of Will's accidental cliff jumping. I found this piece of Chang Li on the ground when I was retrieving the camera. We looked around the car and we found that this is the pivot point for the steering rack. Will was somehow surprised about the damage done to the front end. I saw it live, so I fully understood, but if we pull this away from the tire a bit, it shouldn't be a problem. Just cosmetics. So this holds the bar to the part that steers the car, and it is no longer attached. This is a really big problem. With a little bit of testing, it still works for now. So we are gonna carry on and try to nail down this 100 mile challenge. I 
nine miles in, we already had to break into the toolbox and we realized the toolbox that we purchased ends at 15 mil. It's like a wood crafter's toolbox. It got like <laughs> wood tools. We actually it. can't even take off our lug nuts with these toolboxes. No. We have like all the sizes we don't need. And some clamps. That's the only thing holding our seat down. Which we could just keep rebending that, but eventually it's, it's just gonna, gonna break. Just break. <laughs> I think it's better that way. It's like it's like uh, more clearance for the tire. All right, so we should put away the tools and hit the road. Yeah, we need to get these miles under our belt, man. Okay, I think we're on the same page. We're just gonna take it nice and easy, go find our shovel, and then try to get some miles in. We gotta right? get miles, dude. Uh-oh. What? That's how it steers, man. It takes more rotations to steer than it did yeah. before. It's it's called the rotation modification. So that spline probably is was touching the gear, gear yeah. not as well as it used to. Nope. Because now it's bent. I really can't even believe how destroyed we made this car <laughs> in, like, in less than 10 miles. Yeah, we really shrecked it proper. We should make sure our mileage is counting though. And our steering is basically hanging on by a thread. <laughs> our rear axle also basically hanging yeah. on by a thread. Our oh. group morale, oh, hanging on by a like thread. It's like driving a bus how much you need to turn. Yep. <laughs> And we still have this giant steep hill to go down. Where do you need to leave the shovel? Oh, what the? I don't know where the shovel is. Oh, dude, it might be all over just down this <laughs> little hill. Hell, just take a good path. There aren't any good paths. The good path is the one that touches our diff the least amount. Yeah. But that always is the same path and that now puts it's more pressure on, on the your steering. steering. Oh! oh. Hopefully we don't need to do any like last minute steering adjustments on this trip. Yeah. Oh. oh. The steering kind of like a rock will like pull it. Yeah. It's really bad now. I wish we didn't have to do this bumpy road right now. We need time yeah. for our steering to heal. <laughs> for the aluminum to regenerate. Oh. Oh. That, no! <laughs> I actually wouldn't believe the window won't roll up anymore. It's gonna be so cold tonight, bro. Oh my, get that window up. If we get it up, let's just leave it leave up. Leave it up and we'll use the vent. How are things breaking that we didn't even <laughs> I know. put pressure on? This whole this... car is breaking, man. I just can't believe for the life uh, of me, we did not bring I know. This car is making really weird noises now. We cannot put any pressure on the steering or the diff. And this trail is pretty gnarly. Oh! <laughs> Will this car survive? More than 20 miles? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my gosh. You can actually see the steering like wiggling. Like one of the tires is just wiggling when he's steering. It's completely disconnected almost. Oh. This is so bad. You can just hear everything falling to pieces, <laughs> dude. This thing has to be able to drive 100 miles. <laughs> that means 88 more miles to 90 more miles than we already have had gone. I think this is 
is the best day ever. Yeah, this is honestly so fun. We've had some good days at Grindtard, what? but this is just absolute. Oh, 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 oh. Which path did we take? This was a smooth road. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. That is an off road. Before I, like, I just would have gone down this full throttle before I realized that How we actually are lacking some structural integrity. <laughs> We are at below walking speed. <laughs> what is these noises? Let's keep it jammed. We are going at actual walking pace. Full throttle on the Suron battery, which we were hoping would get us at least 10 miles. It's been mostly downhill, and we've gone less than two. The roof is peeling off. All the wires and things are falling. We're not even at 20 miles yet. Sun setting in about two hours. Things are looking bleak. All right, 
Now it's the truth. <laughs> How much sleep did you get last night? We haven't even been out here all night, oh, and it seems what? like you're already sleep deprived. I'm, I'm sleep deprived. I think I only got like two hours of sleep last night. I was not very dreamy. <laughs> Look at how bashed this thing how is, did dude. Did put this rotopax on here so strongly? <laughs> you just gotta loosen it. <laughs> we have taken so much damage, dude. Yeah, we have really taken some serious damage. Look, even our LED strips are coming off. <sighs> Here, let me give it a go. You give it a whirl. <laughs> that is on there. <laughs> oh. oh, thank goodness. Okay. How come everything has to be 20, 20 times, hard times as hard as it feels like it should be? I don't know. Especially if it's you and I. Like if Ethan was here, nothing would have happened. Yeah, it'd be so he easy. I didn't want to spill that gas. Very nice. So this is our campsite for the next probably four hours when we charge all our batteries because we completely drained them coming down the hill, which was probably not the best idea thinking about it now. It felt like we were gaining so many miles, but now I'm realizing that we we're probably going to need a million more batteries to get back up that hill. Also, did you notice there's so many targets on that hill? We're in like a shooting range. During hunting season. Yes. Time for round two of mac and cheese. It's up to us to see who gets the skinny noodles and who gets the real mac. <laughs> we'll shuffle them around, okay? Okay. <laughs> this is the swindliest position we have ever put ourselves in. Yeah, this... Look how fast normal trucks go! Oh. Shee! Meanwhile, we're going hey, we're a going mile an hour. hour slow. I'm going to appreciate going 100 miles an hour so much more after this journey. A <laughs> right, 100 let's... miles in an hour. Think about that, Edwin. <laughs> in one hour, you can go 100 miles. We've gone 20 one miles in like seven hours. How fast? How fast are we even going? <laughs> Very slow. Will won the mac and cheese lottery with the spiral noodles. Let's see which one I get. <laughs> I chose, and I got regular mac and cheese, not skinny cheese. And I did not want the skinny cheese. This is all we have left. Yeah. I made such a big deal about having... You're like, we have like weeks full of food, man! <laughs> weeks of mac and cheese. And I pull this out of the bag. Nuts. <laughs> oh, here's some more trash for the pile. We forgot to mention it on camera, but part of the challenge is to fill up this entire bag with trash we find on the side of the road, and also Will really hates Monster. You Are you sure there isn't a secret to it? It's just they look all exactly the same. Um, oh. This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> spiral, spiral, spiral. <laughs> Are you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get so unlucky? <laughs> it's so bad either way. <laughs> this way, it's just a little bit worse. 
<laughs> Can you tell by feeling it even? No, I didn't feel, dude. I just faked my jeans. Oh no! <laughs> Did what? you take the anti-moisture thing out of your mac and cheese? I don't think I had it. No, they all have one. <laughs> I think you cooked some chemicals in your mac and cheese. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, <laughs> Those spirals look so premium. Living life. Living life. Eating more mac and cheese. Edwin pulled uh, the small straw. Oh, we're boiling. <laughs> I truly couldn't tell you what it is, <laughs> but that <laughs> looks so much better than that. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible. You want to see something though? Yeah. I was saving it for when our hopes were really down, but I don't want to eat this right now. <laughs> I have. Some sriracha left. Oh, from the in my Starbucks. Pocket. Premium. You know how hard sriracha is to get nowadays. We figured out nothing major, but we do know what we're gonna do to stay warm while the battery charges. We're gonna Ethan down that tree right there with our axe. We bought an axe and we bought bush crafting materials at the local Harbor Freight and we're gonna craft that tree down with the winch. That tree is looking more than a four hour tree to me. I think you should just give me a go at it. I've been looking to practice my even skills with this axe. Brand new axe, dude. <laughs> even this axe. thickness of a tree would take us all day. No. Have you seen Ethan swing an axe? Yeah, but he has real swoop? axes. That's a short axe that's not sharp. <laughs> we can knock it down easy peasy. Let's just make it up there. We have like three more hours. Okay. Let's see it well. Yeah, we we'll go at it. <laughs> you talked a big game. All right, watch out, man. I'm watching out. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Oh, this is <laughs> such a bad idea. <laughs> Are you giving up? I was saving this for when things were looking grim. Yeah. But since we have to wait another two hours for our battery yeah. to charge, what is it? Reach your hand in there, man. Shoo! Caramel chocolate, bro, that's so awesome. We're definitely lacking on battery power and a little no. common sense. even 21 and a half miles. Really? We're at a severe battery deficit. Dang, only 21 miles? And we have uphill for a very long time. We have to get up that hill. <laughs> I'm like mile six into a pizza shape <laughs> and they still work. Our pizza sounds so good. Oh, I don't want to eat that disgusting mac and cheese again. the executive decision. <laughs> I just did. Why did I come up with that? It would be more And it's fun. not even normal macaroni. <laughs> no, it's yeah. like wish.com macaroni and cheese for our wish.com Ford Bronco. Oh, man. I just hope I don't get the mac and cheese you had. 
whatever that was looked way worse than mine. <laughs> Just the amount of electricity for 20 miles into the wilderness. Yeah. I don't think we have 20 miles worth of energy to get out of the wilderness. And I we're- just didn't fill it all the way. Like maybe one pinch of a quarter up the tallest hill on this mountain. <laughs> if we don't we're not gonna make achieve it. our goals because we ran out of gas, dude. Yeah, in our electric car. <laughs> I would be so upset. Oh. That would be about the lamest reason to lose an electric car challenge. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. No, you're fully dude, loaded. We're out of gas for sure. Oh man, that means that we're really not doing good on gas. We're doing so bad on gas, dude. Our calculations were based on that being full. <laughs> oh man, what is going on, man? Oh, okay. Thank, Thank goodness. But if we can get to the top of the hill, it's much more promising because it's all downhill from there to get to gas. Except for the giant hill right before the gas station. We can walk up the hill. Oh yeah, we could walk up the hill. And not go down the hill. Get gas. Get gas. Okay. This is so, this is so, so much worse than hard. we could have possibly known. This is so hard, we haven't even made it to 25 miles yet. We're going less than a mile an hour. What if we figure out some kind of situation where if we feather the throttle and push most of the weight off of it? You feather the throttle, I'll get off and push. You're lighter though, you should drive. I okay. got 20 pounds on you at least, right? Is this where that guy was taking firewood and we decided to go down the hill and charge? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so that whole time we were charging, we couldn't even make it back to where we already yeah. were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. The battery's dead, so we decided to craft a fire and podcast until it's charged, yeah, so which is about four hours. We're crafting a fire. Dude, thankfully, it's not raining right now. Can you imagine how much more miserable yeah. that would be? The storm's probably going to start any minute, but as long as we get the fire as as started. the fire's going, then... Do we have a propane torch? You don't need to make a cabin that nice. That's cool. like a proper fire. Yeah, we're gonna cabinet and then we're gonna just woof. Nice, dude. Nice. nice. You really wouldn't believe the day we had so far. I'm yeah, excited to podcast, honestly. Yeah, I know. The podcast is going to be so awesome. Who else is podcasting on top of a mountain after driving a little car? 25 miles in one whole day. <laughs> Welcome to the Scent and Bent podcast. Today we're fireside because Will and I decided to go on an intense adventure. What, what, what advice, if you have a kid, what are you going to tell it about life? We reckon it's been about two hours. We're gonna let the fire die down, maybe another 20 minutes, but we're so impatient, we have to get going. We've done a whole podcast, ate a whole nother bag of mac and cheese. And we both got spirals. We both got spirals this time. I think Edwin's finally shoveled through all the janky mac and cheese. Awesome. I'm glad we saved the music for now. Now is when we need the we motivation. Need the moral support. Yeah. Of some good old fashioned non-copyrighted music. <laughs>
he isn't kidding. <laughs> Even a little bit. <laughs> I downloaded mixes of non-copyrighted music. <laughs> so that if something happens, and we're listening to music, we can use it in the video. It's fun if we could just drive. Yeah, if we could just do this forever. Yeah, absolutely. I could do this forever. It's the charging that's hard. Yeah. It's really hard to charge. It's yeah. Annoying. So boring and cold yeah, outside. It's like three hours. Oh. oh, what was that? We didn't even hit anything. Now we're gonna feel really bad. It's all. Oh. driving around town, stopping at stoplights, using our blinkers. But we needed gasoline for our electric car, so. Oh. Yeah, the house is clear. Did it just die? No, I just thought that was from police headlights. Oh, we would have got some shots at the gas station, but literally the only police officers in our entire little town are at the gas, gas station. station. So All of them, there's like five of them. Okay. We're just gonna go back into the woods where we belong. <laughs> Around two, three in the morning, we ran out of battery and that storm everyone had been talking about came in. So we decided to sleep in the car and after a long sleep, the first few minutes of driving, our axle popped. So we were down to one tire drive. I think the axle Right when I yeah. started moving, the left tire works and the right tire does not work. Yep. We snapped the axle, I'm pretty sure. That is so unfortunate. We have it in us to go. That's the distance. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. But, but we don't have a welder. But even if we did, we can't weld the axle. But dude, we've only <laughs> gone 42 <laughs> miles! We literally can't go forward. We actually need to go 68 more miles. Yeah. We couldn't do it up here. We'd have to do it on like straight ground. What if I give you a push and we start headed downhill? And we see where we can go with this. And then we see where we just crawl around town back and forth on one tire. With our axle broken in half, the car wouldn't move forward uphill in the dirt anymore. So we went to our next best option, driving back and forth in town until we hit a hundred miles. You just could actually not make this up, man. It's the second day, and Edwin and I were talking about possibly trying to just go 50 miles on one wheel, and I think we just blew up the splines in the differential to the motor. No, neither tire works right we're now. We're stuck in the mud. Let's just see if, like, maybe we turn it on and off. It won't be <laughs> That's not the case, it's a dude. Tank, man. <laughs> Nothing is connecting our motor to our tires anymore. Wow. It's over, man. Wow. I can't believe. It's over. I thought this thing could go anywhere. It can, but you know. Oh, man. 
damage has happened. We got disconnected. Well, I guess let's try to push it here. But you just couldn't believe the car with the trailer is right there. Oh we were so God. close. Dang. 46 miles, 46 man. That's miles more than most could do. Is as far as this thing was designed to go, and I bet it would have gone 3,000 miles if we hadn't done the diff. I think you're right. It's pretty much a success story, though. This is the first time we need to use the winch just to get yeah, it on the trailer. Trailer? I can't believe we died like 50 feet away from the car. If that car would have made it to the trailer. I would have said we just go find some off-road trails we can do with one tire. Yeah, and go, that's what we were thinking! 50 miles. Not completing this challenge was hard on us. It's months later and it's still the only thing Will and I can talk about how we can't complete this challenge. Now it's covered in snow and even more impossible, but we will be back and we will do the 100 mile challenge. Well, hello. Well, how was it? Lots of things happened. <laughs> you guys both look distraught. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we were going to see you today or never. Well, you wouldn't have seen us today if things went our way. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But they didn't go our way exactly. That's what I'm guessing, because last night it was like 9 p.m. and Steven said you guys had done 32 miles. So the math <laughs> for you having done 100 and come oh, home does not well, work. Let's just say we did a lot more than 32. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. How many did you do? We haven't decided if we, we want to talk you, about yes. it openly or not. You look so disappointed. Let me, I'll bring out the app. We slept in the jangly last <laughs> night, man. I, I bet you did. It was pretty comfortable with the generator running. It was like ambient tones of charging power. Steven said that you told him that the wheels weren't pointing the same direction. I was like, there's only one way that happens, and that's if the axle housing is bent. <laughs> and then at that point forward, our range for two hours of charging was two miles. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh, still gosh. went 46 miles. 46. So you Which did almost 50% of a 100 mile challenge. Yeah. yeah. Well, given the conditions and the fact that to um, no one's surprise and actually to my exact prediction, oh. you shreked it in the first <laughs> 1%. Yeah. And it's damaged. So what you're telling me is that every possible opportunity to <laughs> fail yeah. happened, basically? You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe. believe.